Hello, this is Wendy Spraker with Loaves and Dishes. I'm going to give you a recipe hack to use for making spaghetti noodles today. Um, and the reason I am focusing on this rather large pot, this is one of my biggest pots in my kitchen. And that's what I usually make spaghetti in. Normally, I would fill this pot with water. It's about six quarts. And it would take maybe 20 minutes to heat up. Today, I'm going to give you a recipe hack to show you how to quickly fix noodles so that you can make the recipe I'm posting today. So, take a large skillet, the largest kitchen skillet you have. This is the largest one I have right here. I am going to set the temperature on high. See that? And I'm going to add water to fill it about three quarters full. Now, for the purposes of this video, I am using water that I already heated, simply because you don't want to sit and wait, wait, wait watching water boil for 10 minutes. So this won't take very long for this water to boil, but normally you would just use cold water from your tap and then take your spaghetti noodles and lay them in the frying pan like that. The trick is you want to keep your pan moving a little bit. Secondly, you want to add some salt to the water. That too will help it boil, but it's also going to flavor the noodles. And then we're just going to let them boil. Now the, the positive to this is, see how much water you would be using in that large pot? Six quarts. We used about half a gallon, which would be two quarts for this recipe. And with that, now my water has come to a little bit of a boil, and we're just going to keep the spaghetti noodles moving in there. See that? They're already soft. Great. And this will be enough noodles for our recipe today. So this is a quick way. Your, the noodles will be completely ready. And we have used less than half the amount of water, so this saves energy, it saves water, and it saves time. I think that's a terrific, terrific hack. So providing I can splice these videos together, I'll be back with the finished product in just a minute. But uh, if I'm not successful, at least you have seen this hack in action. So spaghetti momentarily. And um, just a cooking tip has nothing to do with the hack. That water, when you're done cooking the noodles, don't just pour it all out and pour it all, all away. Dip you out a cup or two to save. Um, you can add it to your sauce and it will um, help loosen the sauce a little bit and it has great flavor. That's better than um, using plain tap water to, flavor, to thin your sauce. So anyway, thanks. Have a great day. I hope I'm back in a minute, but if I'm not, you'll know that I didn't figure out how to operate my... Um, video editing equipment. Thanks. This is Wendy with Loaves and Dishes and your kitchen hack. Thanks. Okay, here we are. The spaghetti's been boiling for about eight minutes and it is ready to come out. You want to leave it just a tiny bit springy or less done than you normally would because we're going to bake it in the oven. Again, the number one um, way to do this recipe would be if you already had spaghetti left over from a previous meal. But in my case, we didn't. We usually eat it all. So I'm going to pour it off into this colander, which is over the top of that big pot I was just showing you. <laughs> I would normally carry it to the sink, but I can't hold a camera and pour spaghetti and walk across the kitchen. Um, that would be too much. I would fall, spill it all. So there you go. You can see it's all done. It's ready to go. It's going in the recipe. Whoop! Bogged up my lens. All right. Thank you for coming to Lowe's and Dishes Kitchen Hack, and I'll see you in a few minutes when I put this recipe together. Thanks.